Alrighty guys, it is Qua Man here today and I have some unfortunate news and great news at the same time in this video announcement today. So, as of today, I'm going to be canceling my Dragon Ball Universe 2 playthrough. And I'm going to give you guys the reasons and I'm also going to give you guys some really good stuff at the end about a brand new thing I'm going to be doing with Universe 2 videos. So it hit me guys. I thought about it from your perspective. If you have, you know, X amount of time in your day... And you look at your sub box and you see so many people who have already done their Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 playthroughs. Or if you've already played through the game itself, you probably wouldn't have as much of an incentive to watch one particular person do the same exact thing that another person did. Now, granted, obviously everybody has a different commentary. I would have a different commentary from another YouTuber and vice versa. Everybody has different things they can say about the game. But it hit me that... I just feel like if I continue doing a playthrough series, it's just not enough unique content and people just probably had enough of playthroughs at this point. So it hit me. What could I do with Xenoverse 2? So I've decided that I'm going to be doing two things with Xenoverse 2. I'm going to be doing theoretical battles and I'm also going to be doing Xenoverse what if scenarios. So let me give you an example of each. Let's take a what-if scenario. Let's say in the Dragon Ball series, there was a moment in time, and spoiler alert, obviously you guys are still watching, so you don't care at this point if it's a spoiler alert. Let's say there was a scenario in which future Gohan was about to die, but future Trunks went back into the past to actually stop future Gohan from dying. How would that change the Dragon Ball series? In this Xenoverse 2 what-if scenario, I would actually be discussing the what-if scenario, whether it's a short one or a long one, and I'm actually going to be going more in-depth about it. And in addition to that, I'm going to be, you know, saying if it's a negative or a positive outcome. And for my theoretical battles, I'm going to be talking about what if this character was aligned with this other character in a particular fight. Let's take Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Let's say when Super Saiyan 4 Goku fought against Nova and Ice, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta was there with him. How would Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta's influence actually impact that fight in Dragon Ball GT with the two Shadow Dragons? And would that have actually helped history? Would that have hurt history? All of those lines. I'm going to be doing an analysis on that. And I just feel like that makes my content a lot more fun to do because I'm actually taking a twist on the game as opposed to just doing a playthrough that you know, a lot of you are probably tired of seeing at this point. So I hope you guys enjoy the good news and I'm sorry for those of you who are probably bummed out by the unfortunate news that I have to cancel this playthrough, but I just think it's best for my time and I think it's best for my channel if I try to do content that, you know, really actually analyzes the series a lot more in depth as opposed to just uploading something that you guys probably have already had your plate full of. So with everything else said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this announcement. And please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, as I always say, to have a great day, guys. And we got some more Xenoverse 2 videos coming in the future that will include both Xenoverse 1 and 2. Have a great day.